Hi YouTube, it's Allie Hollywood. I'm going to be reviewing today Metaderm Skincare line. They sent me their anti-acne skin clear kit, which includes a cleanser, a toner, and a gel to use before your moisturizer, like a serum. I'm also going to be reviewing their White Derm Resurface Enzyme Fading Mask. It's a peel mask, which are my favorites to use before I do a mud mask to make sure my pores are totally clear and get the best benefits of a mud. And also before doing a sheet mask for the same reasons. Or if I'm in a rush and I want to get my masking in but I don't have time to do my full-on masking routine, I always make sure to pick a peel mask first. So... I'm going to be doing this, and I also have their biocellular oxygen concentrate, which I won't be using today, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about. It's really, really great for opening up your pores, making sure they can breathe, and get all the oxygen they need while you're wearing makeup. So when days I wear makeup, I use this instead of the clear acne gel. You can also use them in layers. You layer your serums from thinnest to thickest and then you apply moisturizer always after any serum or gel you use. Alright, well let's get started. Okay, so this skin clearing kit is based on nanotechnology and it's to fight all your acne really fast and they say you'll see results within one to two days. I saw results maybe more by the second week of using um, I really like that it's meant to tack for 24 hours and work on my skin because that means it's working for me all day and all night and I don't have to really stress out that my acne products aren't staying in effect. It also is supposed to help combat against the red dark marks, which you can see I have lots of from my acne breakouts, um, and help them fade away. It's for all ages, so whether you're a teen or you're a senior and you're battling acne, this kit can help you. Um, it's also meant to help fight the progression of acne lesions and blemishes so they can virtually like disappear and attacks the bacteria with the revolutionary technology that's unique to their system. So step one is using their powerful acne um, foaming cleanser. Now when you think foam, you think of like a foam, but it's not. It's just it foams up when you use it. It has 2% salicylic acid, and that's to help fight your acne. So I'm going to show you how to use it. First, get your face wet. Second, get it out of the bottle. <laughs> now, as you can see, it's clear. You don't need that much. A little bit. Right? On your face. Do, do, do. All right. Well, I'm going to use my Clarisonic because I love this thing. I cannot imagine washing my face without it. You don't need one. But they're great if you own one. Always use it. Always make sure to get in your brows because makeup can get trapped in there. Don't forget that. And most people break out along their jawline, so do not forget your jawline or your neck. Check that 
all my errands. Okay. Really simple, right? You heard all the beeps telling you different regions of my face. Now to rinse off. Now after you've washed, make sure to pat your face dry because we're going to go on to the next step, which is toner. Now this toner, I found to not want to use it if you have broken skin at all because it burns. It burns really bad. Don't do it if you have broken acne lesions, anything like that. It'll hurt really bad. I promise you. I tried it for myself, so don't make the mistake I did. But if your skin is clear or healed, not really clear, but, you know, um, feel free to use it. So you take your toner. I love the size of these products. They're huge. You get so much for your money. Um, take a cotton pad. And you simply do that. You can see this toner is blue. See how much I have on my lovely cotton round. Need a little more. Just a little bit. Right? And you wipe your whole face. And this one is very, very strong smelling. So try and keep your eyes closed because it will burn your eyes to water otherwise. I got everywhere, my whole cheek, whole other cheek. Right, simple. Now the toner you just saw me use is to eliminate any pore clogging and it's to help balance the pH level of your skin as well as decrease the pore size and reduce any redness or irritation. As you can see, my face is a lot less red now. Woohoo! Okay, so I'm going to start using the peel mask. Usually, I would put on that clear gel cleanser I told you if I was just doing a normal day. I like to do it at night and use the Oxygen Pure one during the day unless I am not wearing makeup. So this wonderful stuff is clear. Make sure you have a good light to make sure that you get it all. And you want to just do a semi nice layer so you're able to have something to peel it off. Don't get it on your brows. You do not want to pull brow hair off and end up like this. Just kidding. That's not how I got that. But it would happen if you used a peel mask and pulled out your brow hair. So <laughs> I'm just going to finish applying this, wait 20 minutes, and then I will be peeling it off. And all of you get to see the fun of peel masks and why I'm so addicted. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes, and it's kind of hard to talk because my skin's super tight. You see the mask is totally dry. And with peel masks, you're going to want to start at the bottom and peel upwards otherwise you're going to be pushing everything back down into your pores that you're trying to get out so let's see I have lifted right here so I'm gonna start here you're literally just gonna peel it up Okay, so I got here. Now I can go from underneath. Ready? It's like... Now go very slow so it doesn't pull too much. And if you did a good enough layer, you should be able to peel it off like I am in one fell swoop. 
Now I got some on my brows because that's who I am and I fail that every time. So I try and be careful to just peel like straight. That way what's left on my brows will not be peeled up in this peeling process. Right, other cheek. Miss some of that. Oh. I know. These are super fun. It's like peeling off a face layer. Ah. Got my baby hairs. There we go. face. Ah! <laughs> I'm a skank! Okay. Woo. Now see all this little excess or the bits I got in my brows? Like I said, you could just take a damp cloth and rinse it off. If you like to see my face, my snake face, ready? Ooh, look at all my snakiness. See all the nastiness it pulled out of my face? Even pulled some mascara and things I didn't know I had stuck. Woohoo. All right, <laughs> now I'm gonna wash this off and finish up this video. After a peel mask, I like to go back with some toner and reclose up my pores now that they're empty. Um, that peel mask is to help rid of any whiteheads, blackheads, blemishes, anything trapped in your skin and give you a nice fresh face. Now afterwards if you do a peel mask then you can do your serums and your moisturizers. So I'm going to do that Skin Clear Anti-Acne Gel. It's pump, which I appreciate. It's clear. Woo. I do about one and a half pumps. Put all over my face. Let it sink in for one to two minutes, and then I will apply moisturizer. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I have included in the links below to all these products that I've used today. And please subscribe to my channel. This has been Allie Hollywood. Bye!